Yes, we all want to look good and I'm pretty sure you know by now that good looking people get treated better in life, as sad as that sounds. But in my opinion, there's really nothing wrong trying to dress your best. Never underestimate the power of first impressions. It could potentially land that dream job or even attract that special someone, all because of first impressions. So if you're new to this channel, we talk about men's fashion and grooming tips and ultimately guiding you to dress your best life. So make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Many people have this perception that you need to spend money on branded clothing to look good. Sure, they make quality stuff, but there are heaps of ways to still look good on a budget. Here are six tips. Let's go. Tip number one, start with essentials. Just like anything in life, it's important to first start off with building a strong foundation. And this applies to your wardrobe. If you have unlimited budget, then this is no issue for you. But for most of us, we do have a set budget to play with. If you're first starting to build your wardrobe, it's key to first start with essentials. Essentials are clothes that are neutral in color palette without any logos or complicated patterns. It should be timeless so it doesn't go out of fashion and versatile so you'll be able to mix and match different clothing in your wardrobe. It could be a navy suit, a white dress shirt, a pair of dark brown shoes and a matching belt for your formal and business wear, or it could be a plain white t-shirt, black jeans, and a pair of white leather sneakers for a casual wear. Not only are you going to look stylish, but your wallet is also going to thank you because essentials are pieces that can be worn daily without people noticing. And if you go for quality, you'll probably be wearing it for many years to come and that's only going to drive down the overall cost per wear, giving you a bigger bang for your buck. Forget about trendy pieces, forget about the hype because it's most likely going to go out of fashion in the long run and that's only going to drive up the overall cost per wear. For example, if you purchase a red suit for $500 and you only wear it once, then the cost per wear is 500 bucks. Whereas if you purchase a navy suit for 500 bucks, where you'll be wearing it often for weddings, business meetings, and for work, you'll be driving the overall cost per wear significantly. Tip number two, build an interchangeable wardrobe. Once you're done building the foundation, it's time to build a larger and interchangeable wardrobe. An interchangeable wardrobe often consists of basic pieces in your wardrobe where you can mix and match them and you'll still look good. For example, if you have two suits, one in charcoal and one in navy, two dress shirts, one in white, one in light blue, two pants, one in navy, one in beige, and two pairs of dress shoes, you'll ultimately be getting 16 different outfits in your wardrobe. It may sound boring to some of you, but to me, being able to mix and match different outfits in my wardrobe has saved me a tremendous amount of time and money. So take your time, slowly build up when capital allows. Once you have a solid interchangeable wardrobe, don't be afraid to show a bit of personality and color in your outfits. It could be a wristwatch, it could be a pocket square, a tie bar, a tie, you name it, whatever that floats your boat. Keep in mind the versatility and the interchangeability of these items so you can mix and match different outfits in your wardrobe. The third tip is finding a tailor you can trust. I think by now that most of you should know, fit is king. If you're low on a budget, this tip is going to change your life like how it changed mine. Finding a tailor that knows exactly what kind of style you want is key. And once you do, all you gotta do is find a piece of clothing that closely fits your body as possible off the rack and just bring it to the tailor for the finishing touches. And voila, you have yourself a piece of clothing off the rack looking custom. Most tailors can perform basic alterations such as taping your shirt with darts or even hemming and taping your pants or jeans. But you gotta remember there's a limit to what your tailor can do. For example, your tailor is not going to be able to alterate the shoulders of the suit. Before you purchase anything that requires any alterations, be sure that the area is adjustable and the garment fits close to your body as possible. If you're in doubt, Always go with the larger size so your tailor has more room to play with. If you're interested in knowing how a shirt and suit should fit, you can go on my channel and click on these videos here. Tip number four, always plan ahead on what clothing you need. Create a list of items you actually need and also have a checklist to ensure that the items you buy is not something you'll end up wearing only once. If you don't, then going into stores that are heavy in sales is going to take a huge toll on your wallet. We're only human and we will definitely give in to impulse. So it pays to have a running list of items you need. Ask yourself before any purchase. Can you pair this with different clothing in your outfit? What is the cost per wear? Sleep on it if you have to. Furthermore, planning ahead gives you time to find the best deals. Browse online for the exact item you want to get and you'll be surprised what kind of deals you get online. Or wait for mega campaigns. Platforms such as Zalora offers massive discounts to customers on campaign days. Planning helps with preventing rash and impulsive decisions. For example, if you're invited to a wedding or have an interview in a couple of weeks or months, take the time to find the right outfit that fits you. 
and be sure to have that checklist ready or be prepared to suffer the same mistakes I made where I spent $300 on a black suit that didn't fit me for my graduation. And all because I left it till the last minute. And yes, I never wore that suit again. All this small planning goes a long way. If you can really plan ahead, then consider buying clothing off season. You'll be surprised how big of a discount you get for shopping for winter clothes when spring items start hitting the shelves. Tip 5. Take care of your clothes. This is a no-brainer. If you're low on budget, it pays to have your clothing well kept with proper care. For example, instead of using those cheap plastic hangers to hang your suits, invest in a wooden one with wider shoulders to protect the shoulders of your suit. Or using stuffed newspapers to maintain the shape of your shoes. Clean your sneakers and leather shoes and polish them regularly to prevent any cracks to extend the shelf life of the shoes. Air dry instead of using the dryer because using the dryer is not only going to break the bank but it's also going to break down the fibers in the garment and causing them to shrink. The list goes on. Do your research, be sure to take care of your clothes. If you're interested to know how to make your leather shoes last longer, watch this video here. The sixth and last tip is buy secondhand. Not only is buying secondhand clothing is more sustainable to the environment, but it really is the best when it comes to value. Visit local thrift and consignment stores for used clothes. There are also heaps of online platforms that offer secondhand clothing such as eBay and Carousel. So be sure to know your measurements and get busy shopping. Yes, buying secondhand is definitely a hit or miss. You'll never know you could find yourself a custom suit that fits you perfectly for a fraction of the price. Alright guys, 6 tips to dress better and look good on a budget. I hope this video is helpful to you and if it is, hit that like button. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. As always, stay dapper.